Hi everyone, so I know this isn't really um, like a space you get to see very often and um, not really like the state of things that you get to see very often, but this is the spare bedroom and behind me I have, as you can see, um, a ton of stuff and it's just thrown in here. I have no organization in here. Some of it's my stuff, some of it's my mom's stuff. Um, I'm just having a really hard time with it and a really hard time with like figuring out where to start. Um, I, as many of you know, my mom passed away unexpectedly in January and we've been cleaning out her house and I struggle with OCD and some type of like collector's tendencies, I guess you could say like, um, I have a hard time with stuff pretty much. And um, especially with my mom's stuff, it feels like everything is treasure to me. And so I am having a really hard time with getting rid of stuff. Um, honestly, this is really embarrassing, but I also want to be honest with you guys about what it's like because you've been with me through so much and I appreciate your help and your kind words. So I'm honestly coming here to talk with you guys and to hope that maybe you can give me some suggestions about what to do with this. This is just one example of what the entire house looks like, to be quite honest. Since my mom passed in January, my house has been a mess since. Um, you know, at first it was like the central zone for the funeral and, you know, um, getting the photo boards ready and, you know, grabbing that, that initial, um, about like, bunch of stuff from the house to just get out like those things that we know we really wanted to get out um and then you know it's been like slowly I've been going through everything at the house and um you know collecting things and my mindset has been bring it here to then be able to really look at it so I've you know gone to the house and I just like throw stuff into boxes throw stuff into bags I then think okay when I get home I'll go through it and I have been going through it I, I really have um, but it's hard when everything feels like a treasure, when everything is a memory, when everything is, you know, so special and it's just hard. And I know like prior to my mom passing, she would say, you know, like, I want to get rid of this stuff. So you guys don't have a lot to deal with when I, you know, when I pass and we just couldn't have expected that it was going to be as soon as it was, um, like I said, it was completely unexpected, like, sorry, she was fine, and it just really sucks, I'm sorry. I wanted to share a DIY with you guys today, but then I was like, how can I film a DIY, you know, when my entire house looks like this? <sighs> sorry. <clears throat> And something you guys always say to me and I take it so, you know, I take it to heart is that, you know, give myself grace and be kind to myself and I, I'm really trying to, but it's like, I feel like I can't move, you know, it's, it's everywhere. It's in the dining room, it's in the spare bedroom, it's in our bedroom, it's in the craft room, it's in the garage, it's everywhere. It's on our porch, like... And I know, like, thankfully I'm a teacher, so I have some time over the summer to go through it. And that's sort of like my plan is to just take my time and, you know, donate a lot of stuff. But um, in the meantime, it's just like, I just feel like I'm living in chaos, you know. All of this stuff isn't my mom's. Like, it's a been, it's been a place where a lot of, like, the, the stuff that isn't really, like, weather resistant has gone. Or, like, you know, some of, like, her clothing that is special that, you know, if we put in the garage, like critters might get into it or something um so you know that has been sort of where everything goes like things that need to just be a little more secure um go in here I've started so many times to go through this stuff and Sean you know yesterday Sean like gave me an expression he said it was like I'm trying to eat an elephant I've never heard, I don't think I've ever heard that you know, it's like I'm trying to eat an elephant in one bite, pretty much. I think that's true to what I've been feeling because yesterday I started in the craft room. Then I went to the attic, which was a bad idea because we're in a heat wave right now in New York and um, it was very hot up there. 
and then I was like oh let me work on the spare bedroom and then I just didn't get anything done because I was just like doing a little bit of everything. I know I'll go through this and I know I'll have time this summer to go through it and it's like it's also hard because I feel like I want to be creative and share things and I love crafting and everything but it's like I feel like this is like right like it's in my way you know it's just like like the elephant in the room you know it's just like a it's hard to want to be creative when you have no space to be creative because of your own like I know that I bought this stuff some of this stuff you know and I know I didn't have to take all of the stuff from my mom's like at one point I got to you know a point at my mom's where I was just like throwing stuff in a pile you know as garbage I sort of got to like the end of my rope with it you know um and just you know recognizing that the things aren't her they're just things but it's hard when it's like the only thing you have you know when you don't have the person you just have the thing it's you don't want to get rid of the thing because you don't want to get rid of the person <laughs> so i'm just cutting on here asking you guys do you have any suggestions as to what to do with all of this stuff and how to go through it in like a schedule or something that you can think of that might be helpful. <laughs> I wanted to do a project for you guys today, but I can't. <sighs> I just miss my mom so much. I start summer vacation soon. In New York, we start summer vacation later than most places, so I actually haven't even had my last day of school yet and um it's late june right now um we're like mid late june and um so i've been trying to think of like a schedule of how i want to kind of tackle it so that's sort of like where my mind is with it that maybe i'll start by trying to make a trip to the thrift store once every day um we have a local thrift store in my area well we have a couple um but just trying to take one trip to the thrift store to donate stuff and you know as much as i can instead of trying to just keep going until i'm exhausted just saying okay i'm going to work for like an hour and whatever i can get done is what i get done that's sort of like my thought process with that is just to sort of set small but achievable goals to not fill every day all day with trying to clean and trying to organize it's hard to even really know where to start so a couple bags that i have in here are actually for the thrift store and i just got so frustrated last night i literally was like literally just putting things in here and just being like whatever i just got it in here far enough so i could close the door and you know that was that i did have things organized and then i just became so overwhelmed that i just you know did everything and i think it, or closed everything off and i think it was because i went to so many different rooms and just felt like i couldn't achieve anything in any one room i'm stuck with the feeling of i need to see every piece of my mom's i need to touch it and i need to like remember it and then i need to make a decision about it i've just been really struggling with moving forward and um and i think like i'm excited about summer vacation but I'm also kind of like I'm excited about summer vacation in that it's like time off and everything um and I'm also really hoping to be able to to maybe not get through everything but make a, a big um, amount of progress in organizing and cleaning um and donating and decluttering but I also am nervous about like not having the distraction of school um and like the dist like the busyness of it and the time with my kids and my colleagues um, I'm afraid it's just going to be like hard for me to like not stress I guess and to not just be in my head all the time and thinking about everything so um yeah so I'm just like I'm just here to talk with you guys and see if you have any suggestions about how to tackle a space like this I would love your help and ideas for this because this is just one example of my entire house right now um and I just feel like I don't even know where to start. I feel like I, I don't know. And I also, you know, so sometimes I buy things from the thrift store because I, I in my mind, I want to sell them. And then like the idea of selling them becomes overwhelming to me. So that mean that could be something I focus on 
during the summer, maybe not try to sell as much during the school year because I'm so busy, but maybe try to focus on selling some stuff in the summer. You know, this summer, you know, things obviously I don't want to keep, just donate. And then things that maybe are a little more special to me that I think maybe somebody else would enjoy keeping those type things and mainly like vintage and, you know, toys and stuff like that. You guys know those are my favorite things. Have you guys ever had a task like this to do, you know, decluttering and cleaning like a really a really messy space because I would love suggestions and advice <sighs> sorry I, I wanted to come on here and be you know share a fun DIY but then it's I feel like I just like opened the door to one of these rooms and I was like it's like embarrassing you know but I also wanted to come on here and talk with you guys about it because I know I'm not the only one that struggles with stuff like this. It's nice to see DIYs and, you know, all of these fun projects and everything, but it's also, for me, important to share this side of my life too because I want people to know that they're not alone if they're struggling with something like this, um, whether it's just, you know, the passing of a loved one or mental health issues. I want to maybe hopefully make a connection and make people feel like they're being heard and seen that are struggling with similar things. So sorry to be so sad. I know I think I already said that. So I appreciate any help that you guys can give any any advice, any suggestions, any tools that you have found helpful. Like if there's like a, a schedule or a plan, like a, a schedule or a chart or like a method to go through these things um, and you know, how to keep yourself feeling okay while you're doing it, you know, cause it's, I know, I know it's a complicated thing to ask, you know, in a complicated situation where it's, it's not just getting rid of stuff. It's also donating and passing on things from a loved one who's passed away. Um, and that's another whole layer of everything. So sorry. So I guess that's all for today's video. Thank you guys for listening and being so helpful. And if you have any ideas or suggestions and you maybe don't want to share it in the comments, feel free to contact me at Thrifted Living on Facebook or Thrifted Living YouTube on Instagram, or you can send me an email at thriftedliving at gmail.com. I would love to hear from you guys there and I really appreciate your support. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.